This is my solar charging setup at the field. This panel puts out about 18 volts at 5 amps. My panel is connected directly to a controller for the battery. And the controller regulates the uh, amperage output in order to uh, maintain the battery. It'll go up to a, a max of about 14.4, which is what you're seeing right now. Got my balance charger connected directly up to the uh, battery terminals. And close that. So I've got two 2200 milliamp hour batteries connected up right now and I'm charging at about 5.5 amps. When the batteries are charging, the voltage will drop a little bit like you see right here. And uh, that's because I'm pulling a little bit more current out, I'm pulling about five and a half amps out and I've got about maybe four and a half or five going in. So it drops a little bit, but it's uh, more than enough to maintain the, uh, the battery charger. And in about 30 minutes, it'll be fully charged and I can get another flight out of this plane. Uh, normally I'll do that about three times when I'm out here at the field. So it gives me uh, three extra flights that I wouldn't ordinarily have. And another option, I could just use this 38-inch uh, edge. It just takes these 1,300 milliamp hour packs, and uh, these take about an hour to charge. I could charge these over and over again with a solar charger, and uh, I could stay out here as long as I want, maybe all day. I haven't done that, but that is an option. And this is a flexible panel as opposed to the rigid ones. When the prices come way down, you get these for about 100 bucks now. It's quite thin. Uh, and it's very flexible. I keep mine in the box just to kind of protect it, uh, bring it along when I'm camping a lot. And again, it puts out about five amps, so uh, it's pretty good.